Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. Before we get started, I will discuss AMC's stock. Click like and subscribe to receive updates. Text the video to a friend upon completion. I appreciate you all very much. So let's talk briefly about AMC. I would want to remind you that I cough every time I record a video for some reason. I don't comprehend. Adam Aaron purchased YMC Gold Mining shares on March 15, 2022. Okay, he spent $1.07 per share. This is AMC's CEO, Adam Aaron. He utilized business funds to purchase shares of high-tech gold mining companies. He spent $279 million. $7 were paid each share. This stock is currently worth only $0.49 a share. Thus far, Adam Aaron has cost the company $15 million. I will not assert that he misplaced them. $15 million. They are $15 million in the red on this investment. I wanted to bring this to everyone's attention. I wanted to bring this to your attention. So AMC is back to business. When the apes saved AMC, when you and I saved AMC, and we invested a lot of money, the stock skyrocketed, and AMC was probably a dollar. What? 50 cents per share before we all began aping in and investing in AMC. Adam Aaron possessed a large number of shares and still does, but he didn't want to sell while the price was so low. Did he? He did not sell any shares for roughly 50 cents, did he? No, he didn't. But when we invested as AMC apes, we caused the price to jump, didn't we? We absolutely did. After skyrocketing the price, we invested in AMC with the expectation of a short squeeze. We didn't sell. We are all diamond-handed dimes, right? Who then sold? Someone sold. Adam Aaron marketed. How much did he sell during that time? He sold when? As we rocket pushed the amp price from 50 cents to its current level, he sold 312,500 shares. He sold 312,500 shares of stock. On January 12, 2022, he sold the property for $40 million after we had pushed the price up. He sold for $22.86. Now, sometimes they alter these rates based on reverse splits or other factors, but AMC has not had a reverse split, therefore they have not been adjusted. It may be less expensive on average due to AP or other strange factors. Thus, bear this in mind but he sold each share for $22.86. This is documented and price equivalent at minimum. Six days later, the price of AMC continued to decline for no apparent reason as a result of his sale. It decreased to $14.60. This is a loss of $8.26 per share and the total destruction of AMC stock. Just consider what I have just said for a moment. Friends, on January 12, 2022, Adam Aaron sold 312,000 shares at $22.86 per share. Because he did that, a tsunami effect ensued, and we all suffered because the price declined instead of continuing its upward. We were gaining traction. We were continually increasing the price. Suddenly, Adam Aaron determined it was a good time to sell, and he sold 312,000 shares. What transpired? The price per share decreased from $22.86. Within six days, the price per share had dropped to $14.60. That is a loss per share of $8.26. He decimated AMC stock in a week. Do you remember, friends? Do you recall this? Maybe you don't. So I'm simply reminding you. Thus, this vote is scheduled for March 14. Several of you have already voted. Several of you voted yes in error. Nobody actually votes on YouTube. From what I can tell, yes. On Twitter though, it appears that everyone is voting yes. Are they all automatons? Listed below are those who have said they will vote yes. Are they automatons? I truly believe they are. Or are they Twitter profiles made by hedge funds in an effort to divide and conquer monkeys into voting yes? What is your opinion? Comment beneath. So, what do you anticipate will occur next? Adam? Aaron introduced this new proposal. He desires to perform a 10 to 1 reverse split. Hence, if you own 100 shares of AMC, you will only have 10 remaining. If you own 1,000 shares of AMC, 
you will be left with 100. How do you feel about that? Assuming this boat passes, when they perform a reverse split, they will increase the price per share. However, how long will this last? Now, if you conduct adequate investigation, you will see that every yep, all 100%, not 99, but every single stock following a reverse split has a precipitous decline within one day, and the majority of them fail by 20 to 30%, and they will continue to spiral downward the following week after another 10, 20, or 40% decline. These will be destroyed if you perform a reverse split. That is simply the case. This is not my viewpoint. You simply conduct research on it. Okay. How then will Adam Aaron increase AMC's financial resources? He desires to dilute the shares and issue additional shares. So, if we were to perform a reverse split, the stock price would plummet. What will occur, though, if Adam Aaron decides to issue further shares? Will this increase the price of AMC? No, it will fall much farther because, if history is any indication, he sold 312,000 shares. Not even a significant number of shares, right? Not even a significant number of shares. As a result, the price per share of AMC fell by $8.26 due to the addition of these shares to the float. What will occur when he generates further shares, when he creates 500 million new shares and places them on the market for sale? What is the future of AMC? What is the stock price? What will transpire? Who is likely to lose money? Not AMC, because they will earn money from the sale of their shares. They will deposit the money into their bank account. Friends, they are going to take your money. My money is going to be taken. Then accept our funds. So we must correctly timing this play. If you achieve profitability and there is a short squeeze on EIGRP prior to the vote, I advocate selling it. Place it in AMC. If we receive a yes vote on AMC, you should sell immediately. This is not financial counsel. I'm not a financial advisor. This is my own view. That is what I will most likely do. If we receive a yes vote, I will likely sell as quickly as possible since AMC stock will plummet into the abyss of hell. Several of these debts are being converted into genuine stock. The disadvantage of this is that there will be dilution, I suppose you might say. In addition, there will be a reverse stock split, which is positive. Thus, the share price of AMC will increase, and likelihood are, if I discuss this in a video, market makers, hedge funds, and everyone else have already included this into their pricing. As the markets are a forward-looking instrument, you've likely already seen the suffering associated with this whole situation reflected in AMC. I frequently make this analogy because I believe it fits exactly, not just in this context, but in general. The markets are so focused on the future. Is he performing well for retail investors? Yeah or no? What are your thoughts now? Personally, he appears to be a pretty pleasant person. I believe I would actually enjoy him as a person. Nevertheless, as CEO, is he performing well for us? I'm not saying he is. I'm not saying he isn't. Nevertheless, consider what I just gave to you. What effect has this had on the shareholders? Because his primary obligation is to the shareholders. And is he profitable for us? What is your opinion? Comment beneath.